yeah, not good. The first two games have been, yeah, they've been poor. <laughs> what can I say? Not throwing for content, just. Yeah, I don't even know what to say. Is this P5 is displayable here? Because I played this against Georgmeier two years ago in the Grand K Classic with castles instead of instead of Bishop B2. No shirts were harmed in the blundering of this bishop. Nice one. <laughs> Just the ones. I think this one would be, would be easy to rip though. It's been it's been through some hard times. Okay, so he wants to go c4, a4. Don't need to defend it immediately, but I think it makes sense. I want knight d7, c5. Generally speaking, I should be fine. Very harmonious development. E4 maybe. I could go E5, D5, Knight G4. Okay, I'm sorry if the arrows sometimes go astray. I'm very, very new to arrow drawing. I think C5 is reasonable. Can go D5, but I'm not particularly. Oops. Worried about Benoni structures when he's knights on d2. So I think I'll do that. C B A B Queen B5. There's Bishop A6. I need this one. Okay. Why again was I not worried about this one? Because his knight on d2 is passive, that's why. Okay, let's bring the knight, maybe the other way, the other knights as well. A bishop is a bit passive, so could be a potential worry. And sides, it should be noted that Artemiev is an is uh, is a maneuvering player. So slow, slow play that like we have in this game should, in general, suit him pretty well. Mm. Let me take and then I'll go a5. Activating the bishop. But. Feels like I'm making moves rather than playing chess at this point. I don't see. Don't see the. See a very coherent plan in what I'm doing. So he's got to get e5, isn't he? No, this is probably kind of pointless. Okay. Sort of enticing e5. I don't think it's great for me, but I... I feel like can, I can possibly complicate the play then. You find 97 maybe. And this is a, is a threat. Uh, B5. 
e6, attack on b2, and then knight c4 with a discovered attack. Okay, I have to take back, of course. And my my worry here is that these uh, sorry not the but these pieces are a little bit out of play. So they are tying down some of his pieces to the defense of of uh, c4, but they're not doing much else. So I think I might have to bring more pieces to the king side eventually, like knight of six, maybe knight d7. Okay, rook c1. Rook I'll go knight of six c3 let's try and bother him a little bit Rook b4 i don't think queen a3 was good i think he needed to go queen a1 then i would have gone bishop c8 trying to get trying to get the bishop to f5 now i think i'm doing fine knight b2 there's rook, bishop uh, f1 Let's go knight d7, knight d4, I go knight d5, attacking c4. Knight c3. Yeah, I think he's losing the thread a little bit here. Knight b2, now c4 is falling. And this just wins an exchange now? Uh, yeah, let's grab it. F6. Yeah, he's still fighting here, but looks pretty, pretty bad. Now I'll just try and consolidate. Knight F7 looks solid. He does have some strong pieces, so it's not like he's without any compensation, but. I don't think it's nearly. Oh, rook e7, bishop f. Sorry, knight e4. Okay, let's go king g8 then. King g8, he takes. Takes an f6, queen f6, and then knight e4. It's a bit annoying. Okay, let's go bishop f5. We'll take it. And then go bishop f5 again. Takes an f6, I'll take back and try and play an ending with the pawn up. I just not to take. I didn't consider that. Yeah, he's 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 a tenacious fella. Okay, let's go h6. Take it. King f7. You know, my rook was trapped on f6, so I didn't actually have to take immediately. Now this should win. Why did I believe I had him in check there? Why did I believe? Why did I believe Queen D four was check? That was just amazing. I mean, I can't even explain some of these brain farts I'm having. I think if he trades, I win. Okay, I'll try and trade anyway. That's a good way to try and fight. C2, does it win? No, I don't think so. Okay, we'll go here. Did I actually blow this? I 
think I did. Yes, I did. Oh my god. Seriously.